Hello everyone, welcome to Tommy's Reptiles. This is my first video in 2024 and I want to wish all you guys a happy new year. Today's video is simple. I'll be hanging out and showing you guys my frill dragons. It's a nice windy day. Let's let Squishy get some fresh air. Here you go, buddy. It's just your brother, buddy. Leave him alone. It's okay, bud. Pongo's a good reptile guardian. He's my reptile guard dog. Good boy. There he goes. Hey, it's all right, buddy. No birds are gonna get you out here. Frill dragons like to have some cover. So that's why we're kind of out in the open. He's afraid of birds. You'll never see him frill up when he's inside his enclosure or I'm petting him or anything. But outside, frills out way more. It's actually really good for him to be out here and get the natural sunlight. And in the wild, these guys would be avoiding predators every single day. So my frill dragons actually have it very easy. They come out a couple times a week, protected by me and my dog, and enjoy the natural sunlight. All right, guys, what do you say we bring Squishy inside and give him something to eat for being such a good lizard? Come on, buddy. Let's go inside, pal. All right, Squishy, I'll be right back with something to eat. Hop up there, buddy. It's all right. So today we're just gonna be feeding them some super worms and we're gonna dust that with some calcium powder and some vitamin powder. There we go, let's make sure they're nice and covered with the vitamins and calcium. Who's ready for some food? Looks like she is. All right, guys. They're like little dogs begging. Don't worry, guys, I got a lot of food for you today. It's gonna be a feeding frenzy. All right, here you guys go, right here. Both Squishy and his girlfriend, Rattle, are such good eaters. They usually uh, crush all their food within maybe 30 seconds. Let's get him to eat it for the camera here. Come on, Squishy. Don't let her eat all the worms. These little containers are awesome. I highly recommend them. They're really good at keeping wax worms, super worms, and any other kind of worms in there because they have that lip so they can't climb out. That's a piece of bark, buddy. Yeah. There you go. I always like to switch up their diet. Sometimes I give them super worms. Sometimes I give them a bunch of crickets. Other times I give them horn worms. Once in a while they get a mouse. Let's give them some off the tongs. Looks like she's going for it. Come on, buddy. Come on down. Come on down. There you go. Come on. Come on. A little further, a little further. Jump on my leg. Come on, don't be stubborn now. Come on, buddy, hop up. 
All right, that's good enough. Good job. Good job, buddy. All right, let's get him to go back into the enclosure. Here you go. Come on. Go back to your home. Come on. Jump up, jump up. She needs one. There you go. Come on, go on in, buddy. All right, good job, guys. Just a couple chin scratches. Each time after I feed them, I take this spray bottle and I just drizzle some water out of it and offer them a drink. Sometimes they're thirsty, other times they'll go a couple days without drinking. That's all you want? She's always thirsty. There you go. Frill dragons love to drink water that's moving. Now she's gonna go and bask, I think. All right, see you guys. Let's see if Moth wants some. Good job. As you guys can see, he's finally able to shed on his own. He had all that stuck shed, and now he's shedding like a champ. He's doing great, his appetite has increased, everything's going good. He's my oldest frill dragon, I've had him for about four and a half years, and he is completely awesome. I can't wait to breed him one day. Want a little drink to wash it down, mate? You thirsty, bud? Good job, buddy. All right. And what's really been helping his stuck shed is I really bring up the humidity in here and it really helps. I give him a nice spray down and I just let this thing pretty much empty out. I spray all the walls, I spray the mulch. Get it nice and humid in here. All right, let's go feed the little ones. So the plan is to get these guys outside in a nice outdoor walk-in enclosure so then these guys can take over one of these enclosures since they're growing so quick. Let's see if they're hungry. Well, the little baby's eating. That's good news. She has a great appetite, and usually she does too, but she just woke up, so she might be a little groggy. There we go. Come on, don't let it get away. Okay, it looks like she's not gonna eat today, but here's the little ones who soon will be getting a massive upgrade. She is my only 100% Australian frilled dragon, and hopefully in the near future, I'll make her part of a breeding pair so I can get some offspring. Here we go. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching Tommy's Reptiles, and I'll be back.